Hello, this is Catherine Reynolds from The Business Beautician and I just thought I would pop on here to let you know how wonderful Emma Holmes from Rebels and Rockstars actually is. She has been the reason that I have moved from completely burnt out to running a very successful website marketing business and actually being able to say that I run a very successful website marketing business is actually quite new for me and being not scared of admitting that I run a website marketing online business is also relatively new for me. Now I've been running the business beautician for I think it's eight, might be coming up nine years now and it's gone through the ups and downs. So I have been around for a while, but when I started out, I was very much into the branding side, very much into making pretty websites. And I have developed over the years alongside Emma, and um, she has really helped me get over a lot of the bumps because, oh my goodness, we don't half throw bumps in our own way, do we? <laughs> so, the main shift has happened within the last couple of years. Now, three, was it four years ago now? Um, I had some problems with my daughter. She was school refusing. She wasn't um, able to go to school at all for 18 months. And I was fighting with the local authority and trying to get her a place that works. Um, and she's since been diagnosed autistic. Um, and I really took a back seat on my business because I wasn't able to really focus on it. I, I wasn't in the headspace. I had another job to do. So it really, it knocked my confidence in my business a hell of a lot. And so when I eventually came back to it, it was still there. I mean, I've got lo lots of lovely fans, lots of lovely followers, lots of lovely buyers who still buy from me. And they didn't go anywhere, but my confidence really took a hit. And so when I came back, I found it very, very difficult to relaunch myself. Um, and I didn't really know where to start because when I'd, when I'd stopped my business full stop um, and I had to go and do something else, it really had been a full stop on things. So I had online courses, I had classes and it was successful. Um, and then I had my one-to-one -one work in building people's websites. But then... <clears throat> when I was coming back to it, I didn't have the confidence there of even my one-to-one -one work. Um, and I really felt very burnt out from the whole experience of fighting local authorities and all the legalities that go into that. So I wasn't also wasn't in the headspace to really fight my way forward. And I tried to do it for a few months on my own to sort of reignite my business um, and I just, I wasn't getting anywhere. I wasn't getting that traction. And even though I was like, I can do this, I'm going to be really positive and all this sort of mindset stuff that we're told to do, I wasn't getting anywhere. So I put my hand up and I said, Emma, I need some help. <laughs> and um, within, I think it was a month, she'd really reorganised how I thought about it. I, I already had new clients coming in. After that short amount of time, um, and she really knows how to work with you to pinpoint exactly what's holding you back. So with me, because I'd my health's not fantastic. Um, I have uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, which I've worked very hard to to manage, and I do very well now. Um, but that, coupled with all the stress of the last few years, I was completely burnt out. And she knew that I had to take it in little baby steps. And, you know, some people hold themselves back because they're scared. Some people hold themselves back because they've got imposter syndrome. But with me, it was very much I had to manage that energy and feel comfortable and gain my regain my confidence in what I was doing for people. And regain that enjoyment of things and so Emma really helped me put those steps in place in how I could recreate what I had before and actually better a lot better than before so she kind of worked with me on enjoying it so I don't even know how she manages it <laughs> but I was able to go from 
very little and earning well nothing a month really I think I think when I restarted working with her I was about 200 pounds a month um I don't mind talking about figures but I think they're important um, and then within a few months after that it was it was hardly any at all I was then earning 2,000 a month um which was massive for me at the time and that did a lot to regain my confidence in I can do this I can earn a living again through doing this um I don't have to be reliant on other people I can really I can really put myself out there and get something back which which was big um so yeah I was earning that regular wage again I was enjoying working with clients I was getting fantastic results with them and I was loving the feedback um, and so from there, it was little steps of building me back up into doing my online course stuff um, because there's only so many websites I can design. <laughs> and that is the road to burnout if you do too many things and take on too much one to one. So I knew that I would have to move into that arena before. Um, it's funny because when I first started looking at online courses again, I had this huge block in my head that said it's going to be so stressful and it's going to take up so much energy and I won't be able to do it. And what if I fail? Well, I've got a big thing about failure. Although I'm working my way through. <laughs> I'm getting there. Um, <clears throat> and Emma really helped me to launch slowly at first. And we didn't actually call it a launch. I think I've only really just started this summer. So it took me, I think, about two years to admit that I was launching things at all. Um, and it, it just she just made it so easy she just made it so obvious what the next step was and so so easy for me to access without that stress and without that burnout um, and she's got all the practical stuff too so I don't need an awful lot of tech help obviously and design help but for me it was really moving me through from little step by step by steps and it really works because that way you're not holding yourself back you're always moving that little bit forwards in your own pace and that that is where the magic of Emma happens is that she really knows how to to dig into exactly what's going on and to adjust her her plans and her advice and her support into supporting you in exactly the way that you need for you and your business, not for everybody else. There is no cookie cutter with Emma. Even if you go in on her her group plans, I'm in her supernova, I can't remember what it's called, growth capsule, I think. <laughs> I just click on it on Facebook and go, that's the group, ask a question. But even in there, it's so personalized even though it's a group course. And I have never come across this with any other group course. In fact, I think that's where she has a bit of trouble marketing it, is that <laughs> it does it defies all explanation because it's it's so personal. It's almost like one-to-one -one in a group setting. Um, and oh look, Dave next door's cleaning out the snow. I wonder whether he'll do my drive. <laughs> so she really helps every single person in that group with what they're stuck on rather than having to go through a set number of courses that have nothing to do with what they're doing or guiding them down a structured route that maybe not be the thing for them because a lot of the places that we as entrepreneurs get stuck in are completely personal to us you know the imposter syndrome why is it there or in my case, extreme burnout and and confidence building, but in an easy, slow, step by step by step. It wasn't slow though, was it? If you think about 200, 200 to 2,000 pounds in six months. No, I guess it wasn't that slow. But at the time, you can hurry yourself forward. You can sort of go, I've got to do all the things. I've got to get everything out there. I've got to be this. I've got to be that. And Emma just takes that all away and says, just do this. And then just do that and then just do this. And before you know it, you've got a really successful course, <laughs> which I've just I've just launched. I have my first £10,000 ah, launch um, in no, where, where was it? October, November um, with my uh, big website profit machine course, which is now my signature course. 
I can't believe I say these things. I just said launch and course. That's all down to Emma. It is. Um, and yeah, I've gone from not having anyone on my books, from feeling very um, not confident in myself, not really knowing where I wanted my business to go, to having a very successful, I'm aiming for, um, I think it's 90,000 in the next financial year for my business. Um, and yeah, and it seems easy. And I think that's the really big difference is it all seems very possible and it all seems very easy. And I've also gone through a bit of a, a genesis with my the way I view my business. So yes, I'm a website designer and yes, I design websites. And I love that. Uh, but I also do an awful lot of website strategy. And that has never been something I've been confident enough, a bit of imposter syndrome perhaps, to embrace. Um, and in the past, I think six months, I've really moved forwards with that. And I'll be rebranding over Christmas. So there's my Christmas project. He's doing a fine job of snow clearing, isn't he? <laughs> Sorry, everyone watching, and it's summer. <laughs> Because this case study hopefully will really help Emma out because she's been absolutely amazing for my business, um, and I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't even pause and second guess whether I would recommend it to anyone because if you really want to get the stuff done, get out there and actually do what you need to do, then having an Emma on your side is absolutely essential. I think she's like a business coach stroke operations manager stroke business manager stroke techie person stroke anything else you're really stuck with um so yeah whether you're in a group or you decide to work with her one-to-one -one, absolutely brilliant go for it and you won't regret it i hope i hope that's shine shone a light on what emma can do for you and your business